Well, this museum uh, in the BMCRI campus has been uh, set up by Dr. Venkat Raghava, the head of the Department of uh, Forensic Medicine and his entire team. Uh, they have uh, depicted the evolution of forensic medicine, uh, thanatology, anthropology or sexual offenses, ballistics, etc. And this museum will be very useful not only for the uh, postgraduate students of Forensic Medicine Department, it will be also very useful for the uh, students of various other allied specialties of medicine and also for the advocates and also the policemen who will have an idea about the various case studies that are kept in the museum. Welcome to Vivida, Vidivaidya Shastra Vibhaga Darshana, Museum of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. This museum is a souvenir and documentation of entire spectrum of medico-legal work which our department has done since decades. Students will not get opportunity to visualize all the cases. Hence, museum in the forensic medicine department is very essential. Well, it's said that real museums are places where time is transformed into space with caricatures to explain concepts, posters showcasing various interesting facts, then fascinating specimens of different poisonous flora and fauna, and a whole room of ballistics, a medley of cases, and with all this entire room filled with such interesting cases, our undergraduates and postgraduates have a lot of interesting things to learn in the years to come.
Now I'm in ballistic gallery. This is very unique. It displays lot of autopsy case studies, bullets, specimens, and classic cinema references about guns. On behalf of the entire faculty of Bangalore Medical College, I congratulate the Department of Forensic Medicine for bringing out this wonderful museum in the uh, college premises. This museum can be made use by various members of the teaching faculty, the students of medicine and uh, forensic medicine and allied health sciences, the postgraduates, the advocates and the police department for their future learning. <music>